Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert, back with another gear review. This time I'm going to look at something completely different and away from the whole microphones thing. Uh, I think if you asked any of the guys who went out to Music Messa or to the NAMM show back in January, um, what their two big things were from the show. First thing they would say is AAX plugins, definitely, without a doubt. Second thing they would probably say is that an awful lot of companies are now looking at switching their hardware units over to the very popular 500 series rack, the API format. Um, and with that in mind, I've been begging, borrowing, and uh, not so much stealing, uh, some 500 series rack kit to show you guys. So, with that in mind, I've been put some gear by Alicia into my radial rack. Um, and we're going to take a look at the X Filter 500. It's a Class A True Stereo EQ. So let's get in close and have a look at it. So here we are, nice and close up on the X Filter 500. You can see it's a double width 500 series module. Eight control pots, gain and frequency selection for the low shelf, gain and frequency for the low mid, gain and frequency for the high mid, and gain and frequency for the high shelf. We then also have six buttons down the middle. First one at the top is this kind of passive massage button, which basically rolls a nice little peek into the top end. We then have the low cut. We then have a high mid narrow Q, which basically does exactly that. It sharpens up the Q factor for that particular frequency. We then have the narrow Q for the low mid, high cut, and they call it hit it. This is basically a true bypass switch. Now, depending on the 500 series module you have, basically the input to this is either via the XLR or jacks on the back. The radial workhorse gives me a few other options, allows me to link in from previous preamp channels if I want to, or I can link through into other modules. But in this case, all I'm going to do is show you exactly how the EQ works. So what you'll now get is I'm going to play back a drum track, just a stereo drum track back through Pro Tools, out from my HDIO into the X filter and I'll just run through each of the frequency bands so you can hear exactly how it goes. Now you'll be hearing the signal th directly through Pro Tools not through the microphone on the camera so hopefully you'll be getting a, a reasonable sound quality but you won't be able to hear me talking obviously because you want to hear how the parameters of the X filter work out. So let's try that, let's just run some drums through. I'll run through fairly aggressively through all of the all of the settings and then I'll try and get what I think is a really nice kind of drum sound going so here we go let's press play and let's see what we can do first of all we'll kick it in and let's have a play through these frequencies That's fattened up the bass drum nicely. Let's get rid of some 500 hertz mud. All the way from 16K down to 300 hertz in that high mid. Bit of air in about 1.5, nearly 2K. And let's have some real sizzle on top. Really harsh hi hats there, we don't like that so much. I can hear 28k, certainly not through MP3, but who knows. I 
and let's take it out. Bypassed. I think that sounds pretty good. Let's try massaging it. I think we're going to hear that more if we really boost the top end. Sounds a bit smoother to me, a bit, a bit brighter on top end. Maybe a little bit too much on the real bottom end. Let's put in the two cuts. You can really hear how that high cut knocks all the top end off the cymbals. Leave it full range. Let's have a play with these um, narrow cue features for the high mid and the low mid. So this is one for the high mid. It means we can really now get in there. It was like knocking out the same frequency. There's quite a lot of frequency crossover between these two, which is quite useful. Bringing out those hi hats nicely. Let's go for the low mid cue or the lower mid narrow cue now. Bypass it again. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That sounds much fatter. A lot more clarity, a lot less mud. Maybe I'll choose to boost a little bit more at the kick drum end of things. Yeah, very happy with that. So there you go. That's a very quick look at the X Filter 500 by Alicia. Um, very, very simple kind of to operate. Um, the pots feel really nice. Got a real quality feel about it. That is reflected in the price, but as with all things, you genuinely do get what you pay for. Um, I'll be very reluctant to give this one back, I must admit. As a mastering EQ or even as a bus EQ for drums, as we just tried, it's really, really powerful. Very, very clean. Really, really nice. Um, you know, they do kind of look quite nice in there, don't they? Thanks very much, Alicia, for that one. We do have two more of their modules, the Expressor and the Envelope units to have a look at. Um, and I'll be doing that in the coming days and weeks. I've been James and hope to see you on the next gear review.